Hi, I'm Just Swan, and uh, in this video, I'm going to be taking you through the modulators in Bitwig version 2 uh, that just came out uh, last week. I've been beta testing Bitwig for about two months now. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm playing around with all the cool stuff the modulators can do. Um, so let's take a look at them. Um, so the first one I'm going to show you is the audio sidechain. Um, this works the same as a sidechain compressor but you can uh, apply it to any parameter of any plugin, um, <clears throat> be it a built-in plugin or um, a VST. So um, I've got some drums here and a synth. And I'm gonna put some reverb on the synth. Uh, turn the mix down for now. And then down here you see an arrow. This brings up our modulator boxes. So in here I can insert the audio sidechain, um, expand it by clicking here, and then select the beat as the input. Using this arrow I can now apply it to any parameter on the plugin. So for this I'm going to um, apply it to the mix. So now you can hear when the beat's hitting, it's sending the reverb up. So you can get some really cool effects with this and you can use the um, frequency isolator so you can have just the kick. And you've got your standard attack and release. Oh, isolate just the snare. So that's really cool and there's tons of stuff you can do with that. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is the LFOs. So I bring in a synth. Let's bring in FM8. And um, if I just open a simple patch. So this patch, this patch has um, just a, a simple uh, two pole envelope. But I want to, I want to um, modulate the master volume as well to accentuate the movement in the patch. But unfortunately in FM8, there's no way to do that. Uh, so, but with Bitwig that's fine. So we can just insert an LFO over here and then I can search for the parameters. So if I type master and there's master volume, I click on this and send it to that. And also down here, this is um, a unipolar or bipolar button. So right now it's on bipolar. So it's going above zero all the way up to hundred, but it's also going down. All the way to a minus 100 and I don't want that so I turn that off and now um, I'm able to put an LFO on the master volume as well which is great um, and so you've got a few different LFOs here and they all have slightly different options um, and you have things like a note trigger so that when you when you um, press the key it will um, trigger the LFO which is really useful um, and you also have on this LFO you have fade-ins um, you have fade-ins and um, delay which is really great and um, the next thing I want to show you is that you can actually uh, modulate one um, LFO from another so if I uh, turn this one off. I can modulate the rate of this one and the shape if I want from this one. And you can see, you can see um, what the LFO is doing here with this. Um, my bad. Um, with this um, graph here. So that's perfect. Um, and there's tons of stuff you can do with just those. But um, in the next video, um, I'm going to move on to some more of the modulators, like the Envelope Follower. The Pyramind Mentorship Network connects you to experienced professionals for truly customized private training in music production, sound design, music business, and more. Use our scheduling tool to select the type of training you want, pick your mentor, find a day and time that works best for you, then book your session. Your appointment will be confirmed instantly. Study only what you want, progress at your own pace, pay as you go, and do it all from the comfort of your home or studio. 
Our global network of industry experts are here to help you. Visit pyramind.com slash mentorship to get started.